can't really remember anything. So to me, it's just that's my life. I haven't. Ex I can't remember the attack. I can't remember being in hospital. Whereas to you, you remember everything. Like listening mm. to you, it's like a story. From the corner of my eye, I could see this man running alongside the fence, and um, I didn't think anything of it. To be to be fair, at first. I just could see this man, then the next minute I could see that he was coming quite fast towards um, the nursery. And there were a couple of parents there that day helping out. And the next minute I knew I could see this man had got a knife in his hand. And at first I didn't think that knife was real. And then all of a sudden he then hit both of these parents across the head and one slumped over the gate. I then remember just really, I think your kind of adrenaline kicks in, your instinct kicks in and very much, you know, the teacher I work with grabbed some children, she ran inside. I then remember getting as many children as I can and almost ushering them inside and I'd got children holding onto my skirt, you know, hiding underneath my skirt, just in sheer panic, not really knowing what was going on but obviously seeing the panic in, in ourselves. Um, and then I remember thinking I need to go back outside because there were at least another 15 children or so outside. So as I ran back out, at this point the man had jumped the fence and he was coming towards me. And I just instinctively put my hands up to protect my face and then unfortunately he cut me straight across the left arm. Didn't really feel any pain or anything, I just remember um, just really in that overdrive of needing to, to get children in. And next to me was Francesca who spent quite a lot of time next to me anyway and I think she just kind of literally held on clinging onto my skirt and I can remember the man literally going for her neck that was what I thought at the time and I put my hands up to protect um, her, her neck and at that minute I just remember watching him cut straight across her face and her ear and down her neck. Um, well for me obviously Life just changed in an instant really. I had to deal with you know a lot of physical injuries I had to relearn to do everything again Fasten buttons tie shoelaces everything. I was you know really teaching um, nursery children to do I then had to um, Go through the court case. I had to go through Occupational therapy, you know for quite a while and very much all of a sudden I'd gone from this ordinary person to you know, hailed as this heroine, and life was just very, it felt surreal really, it felt like I'd very much jumped onto this merry-go-round and was spinning around, probably for about five years of, you know, receiving all these numerous awards, which was fantastic, and then obviously going on to receive the, the George Medal from the Queen was, you know, a great honour, but very surreal that that had happened to me, and why me, and then, you know, as the years went on, I've obviously gone on to um, work on numerous projects with ch charities, set up Believe to Achieve, which is based in Wolverhampton, gone on to get married, have my children, um, and then then sort of further my education really, went back to Wolverhampton University, trained as a nurse, got my degree, and then went on to work in the community as a health visitor. So, so life over 20 years, I look back and I think, oh my goodness, um, you know, did all that really happen to me? But for Fran, obviously you were, you know, growing up as a, as a little girl, yeah. weren't you? Oh, it's completely different to me. It's something that's been there all my life, really. Whereas I can't really remember anything that happened. Whereas Lisa has all these vivid memories, and I just can't remember anything at all. So it's completely different. I graduated from the University of Worcester in 2014. Um, got a T1 in psychology. Oh, clever girl. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> and now I'm working as an assistant psychologist. Um, with the Children and Adolescents Mental Health Service. And why do you think you decided to go into that Um, I don't know. I think subconsciously it's because of the attack and what's happened. And I do want to work with children and young people and adults that have mental health problems. So it's probably stemmed from that, to be honest with you. Yeah. And, and how do you feel towards Lisa? Um, I can't explain how I feel. <laughs> I just get really, really emotional. Um, just... Over my life, she's literally saved my life. So, what do you mean, literally? Literally, like, <laughs> literally <laughs> saved my life. It's, it's it's a hard thing to come to terms with. That <clears throat> without you, I wouldn't be alive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she get me all emotional. <laughs> you know, As she emotional. always does. You know, she gets me but very yeah, emotional. It's, it's hard to come to terms with that. That actually happened to us. Yeah.